In this video, we're going to create a simple work breakdown structure template, or WBS. A WBS is a description of the work that will be done for a project, represented as a hierarchy of tasks. We're just looking at a basic WBS here. If your project involves a lot of repeatable work, you should consider creating a WBS template. Uh, we will create one from scratch. So to reach the WBS templates, you can go from the main menu, project management and accounting, projects, work breakdown structure templates, or simply set up in a workspace, a tile taking you directly there. So we're going to create a new one and we'll just enter a name and a description for our template. And we want it to be active so we can use it. And here we have our root of the WBS. To start adding tasks, we just click new and we have a line. Now, a WBS has three major purposes. Describe the breakdown or composition of work in tasks, which we will do here in tasks. To schedule the project, which we will do with the estimated number of hours to complete such a task. And to estimate the cost of each task, which we will see later. So we've just created uh, one line which we can assign a role. We'll assign that to account director. And we'll just keep this as a single task. Uh, if we create a new one with this, we will add some subtasks. So we'll just give that a title, but there's no need to specify in the root of the task because that will be calculated by the individual subtasks. So if we create a new one and make that a subtask by indenting it, just call it 2A, and we'll keep this as project manager for now. We'll assign 20 hours for this and we'll make it account manager role. Let's create a new subtask. Now, if we want this task to begin only after the predecessor has finished, we can specify here. And we'll give this 30 hours and also account manager. And we can see the root of the task will calculate the total. So if we uh, just add one more, we'll specify this can begin after the predecessor has finished. And we'll give this 35 hours, assign this to the account planner. Once again, we'll see a calculation of the total. Projects that have a very low tolerance for slippages in schedule costs, such as in construction and engineering, usually require a more detailed WBS and diligent tracking of the work progress and cost against the WBS. We can see the estimated costs and revenue in this tab. And we've preset prices for unit cost of labor and sale price for the unit cost. So it's calculated and given us totals. In our next videos, we will see how to make full use of our work breakdown structure.